This Friday, we have another crazy match in the heavyweight boxing, and it's AJ versus Francis Ngannou. Yes, we are getting a resurrection of the heavyweight boxing finally. Then we have Tyson Fury fighting Usyk finally. And then we also have Joseph Arker fighting Zhili Zhang. Also, remember, it's this Friday. It's not Saturday. UFC is on a Saturday. This Friday, we have boxing, and it's Ngannou versus Anthony Joshua. And this fight is going to be more intriguing than the first fight between Francis Ngannou and Tyson Fury. And let's see why. Because that, that first fight between Francis Ngannou and Tyson Fury was just, you know, like a lot of questions. People were not taking it seriously. But now we know what Francis Ngannou can do in a boxing match. And we've seen it. And now we are going to see like actual, not I wouldn't say actual boxing fight, but it's going to be a little bit different than the fight that we've seen be between Tyson Fury and Francis Ngannou. Because fight between AJ and Francis Ngannou is going to be also dubbed as a fight between the firsts and not firsts. And what I mean by that is that like, we can look at this. For the firsts, for Francis Ngannou, you know, it's going to be the first time that Francis Ngannou in the boxing will be taken seriously. You can all question basically if Tyson Fury was not ready, if he didn't take him seriously. It could might as well be. Tyson Fury prepared, but maybe he was not fully dialed in. You know what I mean? And now Anthony Joshua will take him seriously. Everybody saw that Francis Ngannou has that power in there in his hands, even in boxing. Everybody saw that he has a gas tank that he can go for 10 rounds and he can go for 10 rounds with a Tyson Fury. So now it's the first time he'll be taken seriously. Another thing is that it's also the first time that Francis Ngannou game or boxing game, not the, not the MMA game, but the boxing game will be completely dissected. You can bet on it that a Ben Davidson, who is actually a little bit of a nerd, you can like, you can see like a little bit, I don't want to call him autistic, but he loves the boxing and he loves to delve into it. You know what I mean? So he will dissect everything, absolutely every single move that Francis Ngannou did in his boxing fight versus Tyson Fury. And I think they will not underestimate him and they will even, uh, they will even dissect all his UFC matches and all his professional career in fighting to just completely study him. I don't think that Tyson Fury did that. Of course, they looked at at him, they knew who he was. They also dissected him, but it was a, on a completely different level than what Aegis, Aegis Camp is going to do to Francis now. Also, it's the first time that Francis Ngannou will fight someone who will be 100% ready. I already touched on it. Tyson Fury, he looked like he, like he just came out of the couch. Like, I don't want to make excuses for him, but he just, it was a completely Tyson Fury. He was fat, even though He's the one of the best boxers ever, but there is a difference between preparation. You know what? You can be still dubbed the best ever, but if you're just not fully prepared, it's not really you. You know what I mean? And now Francis is going to, it's going to be first time in boxing, even though it's second time, <laughs> but it's going to be first time that he's going to fight someone who will be 100% ready to go 20 rounds, not 10 rounds, 20 rounds. Also, it's the first time that Engano is fighting someone as strong as him and it's in boxing hey be careful because in in ufc he fought for example i don't know alistar overeem could be the closest example who is as strong as Enganu or maybe even cyril gain but anthony joshua is a strong dude like like they call and make him make fun of him that he's a bodybuilder of boxing so he is strong so it's also first time that francis will fight someone who is almost as strong as him for AJ, there is a bunch of firsts as well. Because even though AJ is one of the biggest names in the boxing, this is actually the first time AJ is fighting someone who is bigger than him. And that's a big thing, right? Francis Ngannou is bigger than AJ. And AJ never fought someone who was bigger, more frightening, more powerful than him. That's a big, that's a big mental hurdle if you think about it. If you go into the match and you always... See, you always deem yourself like, oh, I'm the bigger guy, you know, like I can take him. It's 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 a different mental ball game. And we even see it in when he fought Usyk, like when he lost the split decision, he came to him and was like, how did you beat me? I'm stronger than you, I'm bigger than you, you know what I mean? So like, he has that in his mind. And now he's the, it's the first time that he's fighting someone who is bigger and stronger than him. 
also is the first time that AJ is not the boogeyman. He used to be the bad man, you know, in the champion, the bad boxer who was like, you know, like, I don't want to fight you, you know, like, you want to be that guy that no one wants to fight you, you know? He looks big, he's powerful, he's strong. You don't want to fight that guy, right? But Francis doesn't care, you know? Francis is the boogeyman here because AJ knows that if this fight is not in a boxing ring, it's in the octagon or even in the street, he is dead. So he is not the boogeyman. That's a big, that's a yet another mental hurdle. And also, it's the first time that AJ is fighting someone who is not afraid of him. You know what I mean? There have been a couple of guys, for example, Joseph Arker that we talked in the previous video. When he fought AJ, you could see that Joseph Arker was ready, but he just, there was like that little bit, little, little question mark in his head. You know what I mean? Like, it's like that little bit of fear, like, man, like, I don't want to lose in front of all these famous people. I don't like, what the, that, that question, like, that, like, Francis Ngannou is not dead. He defied death so many times. He is in such a control of his life that he is not afraid of AJ. And if anything, Francis Ngannou called for that fight. Also, it's the first time that AJ has everything to lose. This is basically the first time he is in a lose-lose situation. And what I mean by that is basically if he beats Ngannou, then everybody says like, okay, he just beat an MMA fighter, right? But if he loses to Engano, then his whole legacy all of a sudden is in question. You know what I mean? Because as a boxer, let alone the ex-champion, you are not supposed to lose to someone who had one professional boxing fight. You're, like they will drug AJ's name, AJ's name through the mud if he loses. And there is also another first, and that is, is the first time that AJ is fighting someone who can bully him in the clinch. You know what I mean? Because like, if Engano catches you in the clinch, like he can just throw you around. But we've seen we've seen how he threw around Tyson Fury, and Tyson Fury is not a small man. He's a big, heavy dude, and <laughs> Francis Engano just threw him around as if it was like some fucking boxing bag or like a sandbag. So like, we already seen that it's the. It's the fight of the first. Like these two fighters, they will both experience something they never experienced in their careers. It will be a bunch of interesting firsts. But let's now talk about something that is not going to be first. Also, for Francis' side, we have to say that it's not going to be the first time he's fighting the boxing, which is as ridiculous as it sounds. It's going to be his second professional boxing fight against one of the biggest names in the boxing. As ridiculous as it sounds, it means a lot because in his first fight against Tyson Fury, he was not sure if his gas tank will hold up for 10 rounds and that could explain his style. Like he was, he was not pushing too much. He was not exchanging. He was not throwing a lot. It felt like he's trying to preserve his energy. Like that's why he was not risking a lot. But now that he knows that his gas tank will hold up, he can do much more. He can press Anthony Joshua. He can bully him more. He can throw more combinations. He will not be afraid to actually box more actively because the fight between Tyson Fury and, and Gunn was not as active, right? It was a big fight, but it was not as active. Also, it's not the first time that Francis Gunn will be fighting in front of the legends. Sure, he fought in front of the some famous people during his UFC run, but we saw the amount, the sheer amount of legends that were in the Saudi Arabia the last time when he fought Tyson Fury. Like all the boxing legends, all the MMA legends, like that can even to the someone like him, it can cause you know a little bit of a stage fright. But we know it's not going to be the first time that he's going to fight in front of famous people, in front of the whole world watching. So we know that. This is not going to be first for him and it's not going to be his first rodeo for the 10 rounds either. For AJ, what's not going to be first? Well, first, it's not the first time AJ is going to fight a big power puncher, right? He fought Klitschko. You know what I mean? He fought many other powerful big punchers. So it's not the first time. So it's not the first time AJ is meeting someone who can knock him out in, with one punch. It's just not it. Even though Francis Ngannou has a freakish power and probably bigger power than Klitschko brothers, you know, and all these other big power punchers that AJ fought, it's still not AJ's first time. It's not his first rodeo against the big power puncher. Another thing, 
is that it's also not the first time that AJ is putting everything on the line. He was in a similar situation for the Vladimir Klitschko because Klitschko was already old at the time, right? So AJ could also was in the same situation like, okay, if I beat him, I beat an old man, right? If I lose, I lose to an old man. It's technically a lose-lose situation, but that fight turned out to be crazy and turned out to be entertaining. So AJ came out winning. Also, another thing that is not the first time for AJ, it's not the first time that AJ is fighting someone who is hungry. We all know that Francis Ngannou and his story is crazy and boxing was his dream. And he tries to, he's trying to get an undisputed title, right? And it's not the first time that AJ fought someone like that. He fought, he's been champion for a long time. So he fought many guys who came there with the dreams. You know, he, he fought many, like Joseph Parker was, I think, 28 years old when he fought AJ. That's a young, hungry guy. And AJ handled it perfectly. You know, also another thing that is not going to be first time for AJ is that, you know, it's not the first time that he's also putting all everything on the line. You know, like AJ is one of those guys that he's not fighting for the money. He doesn't need money. He's fighting for the legacy. Right. And there is also a scenario where AJ loses and then Ngannou goes and beats Yusik or Fury. You know what I mean? Like that is a scenario. And then all of a sudden... It's, it's not everything on the line, you know, but also what I mean by that is that AJ fought people in the past where, you know, he has put it on the line before, for example, against Andy Ruiz. And he still came back in the rematch, beat him up, and now, you know, he's back at it again. So this fight is going to be interesting because, like, it's like we see a lot of things that are first, first, like, the first thing happening to both of the fighters that they never experienced before, right? And there's also a bunch of things that they already experienced before. So, like, this fight has as many question marks as and as many exclamation marks as it can get. We'll dissect what it all means in a more detailed video later, but I want you to know do you guys think is there more bigger questions that they are bringing into this fight is is there more firsts that you can think of is there more that you are that they are used to i would like to know let me know down in the comments below and i will see you next